Hello, people. Honest people. Dishonest people. People in between. We've made a return. And you're probably thinking, made a return how? Who is this fatherless, light-skinned boy with plaits in front of me? Behold, because what you're about to encounter is an epic journey with one skinny boy not only trying to find his father's whereabouts, but also trying to find out why this has become a rap. What is that a rap? Where is that a rap going? Where are we now? Where are you now? What do you believe in? What do you feel you stand for? Am I standing? Am I sitting? Do you stand for anything? If you don't, you sit for nothing. Sit for everything. When you can stand in life because you have two legs. Two legs is what they have in a football match in a Champions League game. The question is, what do you do with your two legs? Where do you walk to? Where is your destiny? Can you spell destiny? Does it have child at the end of it? That way it would be three girls. But only one made it. Her name was Beyonce. The question is, are you Jay-Z? Hello everyone, and welcome. <laughs> welcome back. Now as you can see, you've come back. My voice is gone, don't know where he is. I'm trying to look for him. <sighs> so, where have we been? We've been many different places. <laughs> We've been everywhere. Everywhere but nowhere. Now we found ourselves on SBTV. Uh, that's a good four letters. If you have three letters, usually STD or, you know, those not really good. Apparently it's an STI. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm not trying to get that. Everyone, 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 everyone. I've been away for a little while. Three lines that caught my eye. Now, I don't understand how three lines can catch your eye. Cause it's like, I've never seen a line and then it caught my eye. I didn't even know it had a hand. And why is it taken out my eye and extracted it? All these questions are amazing. What is the answer? Well, I don't know. But what I do know is these are the three lines of three songs or yeah, these are the three lines that caught my eye. Um, I was watching a song with uh, Tinchy Strider and Pixie Lock. Now Tinchy Strider is an artist I admire. I remember him from a young age when he used to say things in boots and on a regular and a flossé max on a regular. And I tried to do the same, but my financial situation didn't allow me. But I flossed Gola on a regular, so I used to say that. Tinchy Strider released the song and it was almost like a cry for help. And I'm fully aware that black people um, love chicken. Do we all agree we love chicken? Yeah. To a whole different level. Like a level that we can't even see and comprehend being here. But big man, on the tune, did you really have to say that? Lost half even Nando's or send me a new black card. Every day it's lost half even Nando's or send me a new black card. What did you expect to happen after that? Get phone call. Yo, uh, it's just Nando's here, Tinchy. Uh, we're gonna renew your black card. Come on! You just want everything, innit, Tinchy? You want to have MOBOs, Brit Awards, number ones, and black cards? Tinchy, you think about the small people like me. And when I say small, I don't mean in height like that. I mean, like, look at my wrist. Think about me. I need a Nando's black card. Big man, I need a mixed card. I need a white card. I need every type of card they're willing to dish out. Birthday card, anything. I need a chicken. No, you think about that. This individual he come like hay fever. Once a year, you might see Wiley. But when you do, he comes back with a bang big man. He come back in the summertime with a song called Heat Wave. When the sun's out, see the gal M2. I wake up to another gal M2. I ride out on my Yamaha R6. When I reach in the dance, bring the gal M2. Now, what made me laugh is that this song is not a song that Ghanaians could potentially, potentially really relate to. And when I say Ghanaians, I don't mean the males, I mean the females. And they might get upset and be like, Pawe, who do you think you're talking about? I will say, heart darling, don't get upset with me. Wiley said, I wanna see a light skin girl on the road. Do a run for like me. I wanna see a light skin girl on the road. He did not say a dark skin girl. He did not say a Kenyan. He did not say an Aborigine from Australia. He said a light skin. Not Naomi Campbell. Didn't wanna see that. I'm sorry. Didn't want to see that. Beverly Knight. Didn't want to see that. Foxy Brown. You're just too brown. Didn't want to see that. They wanna see the real aura. And she's not even light skin. Now you think about that. 
I don't know how much of you lot uh, like Dappy. I actually love Dappy and what he stands for. And there was one line in this freestyle we done, the Tarzan freestyle, the number two. He brought up someone in particular. Then every man's welcome to fly long distance. We be on a beach with weed man Winston. Winston. Now it's new. Now it's with weed man Winston. Winston. <laughs> how you bait up your shot? How you bait up the shot now? When the feds come and see him now, you weed man uh, Winston. Winston? Like, come on, man. He's getting shift. And then he says, I'm the craziest thing at United Kingdom. Mm mm. Wild. I don't know what is in that weed, but it's <laughs> Winston. I rate that. Them and I dread. Heard this all little Wayne's cousin. Crazy over there. Jamie, boy better know. And then watch him. That's a rap show. Alright. Basically, um, I found myself in central London and we went to go and see the one they call Flow Rider. Yo, what up, it's your man Flo Rida, and right now you got it locked to That's A Rap. We are with the one, the only, not Florida, not Cal Florida. I've never been to America, by the way. Did you take me to Florida or Miami? Oh, it's all or? good. If you come to Miami, you're going to have the best time ever. You know, I love, you know, coming to the UK, but you might not want to get a returning flight. Are you being serious? Very serious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Due to you, and I have to thank you, you put us in environments where we could say certain things to females and they just felt so <laughs> good. So when I said to a girl, apple bottom jeans, and I'd like, boots with the fur, they were just so happy and I was like, that's what you're dealing with, yeah, you look good. <laughs> of you i managed to get so many females um when you put that much pressure on yourself with the first record okay TV. ain't no pressure with getting the females man mm -hmm. Not well, from, there's a lot of pressure on me you know because that record made me get some nice gal and then <laughs> after the records go you just back to what i was with before <laughs> I'm all about, you know, taking things to greater heights. I'm a guy who will stay in the studio for like two days and I wouldn't change clothes on purpose. You know, um, I would call, you know, and creating, you know, the whistle record, which is huge here. I was uh, in the studio. It had been like, uh, it would have been like three days in the studio and I was just like, you know, uh, pack my bags, let's go. And just when I was about to leave, I was like, nah, I got more Emmy. And stayed in the studio and came up with that record. So. I mean, I'm just a guy who worked hard, you know, I don't care how many flights I got to get on to go reach my fans. I don't care, you know, if I'm feeling under the weather, I'm a workaholic. So I look forward to, you know, the, the more you put in is what you, you know, the more you get out. And I'm betting you like girls to give love to girls and stroke your little ego. I bet you I'm guilty, yo, honor. That's just how we live in my genre. Who in the hell don't pay the road wider? There's only one flow and one ride. That. See them scars? That's, a, that's warrior scars. So you better worry your dog. All right, you ready? Oh, my arm gotta be there. And, that, and th listen, don't be afraid. Ready? Don't put in all your strength. You ready? And you mark set, go. Look at that, look at this. Look at, look at this, look at this. This is big man. Yeah. Now you may think to yourself, he's lying. That's, he's not lying. <laughs> that's what happens when you arm wrestle man like me. I won't even concentrate. <laughs> hey, look at how she like. I don't concentrate, man, just do the thing. Y'all know I would've kicked his. <laughs> That was fake. That's the rap show. <laughs> that was Flo Rida. Um, fantastic guy, really nice person. He even wanted to come and rave with us afterwards, but um, I allowed him to know that his bank balance and mine somewhat don't really uh, communicate. Therefore, there's no reason for us to go out raving because uh, after he's bought five drinks, I'm ready to leave. Everyone uh, is one of the sections called should, should be bigger. And in this section, we allow an individual that we feel should have their talent showcased amongst millions of people of many different complexions whether they be dark or whether they be white whether they be young or whether they be polite and i'm fully aware young is not the opposite of polite but what is the opposite of opposite well this is lauren and i want you lot to opposite her no to watch her this is they should be bigger hi 
Hi, my name's Lauren. I'm from North London, and you're watching That's a Rap Show. On the floor. I first started hula hooping when I was about five or six, like in the playground. And then when I was at my grandma's house in East London, she bought me a hoop. And I'd always be hula hooping there. Um, but I stopped, and about three years ago, there was a competition. And I thought, I think I can still hula hoop. And I did it, and I was hula hooping for like about 30 minutes. And I won, so bought myself a hula hoop, and then I just didn't stop from there, really. Obviously, hula hooping looks easy, but it's not if you want to do like tricks and hold it up for a long period of time. I try and practice nearly every day um, with different types of hoops, different sizes, different amounts, different weights. The longest I've ever hula hooped for is about two hours, but obviously um, needing to go to the toilet and have a drink and being bored um, stopped me. But I want to break the world record, which is apparently 72 hours. I'm going to do that one day. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. My Twitter name's at I am Lauren Cato. That's L A U R E N C A T O. Um, my YouTube is exactly the same, Lauren Cato. Um, you can find me on Ideas Tap as well. And I'm with This Is Youth and National Youth Theatre, so you can look me up on there. Cause your perfume isn't loud, and only I can talk about. Feel good, feel That's the rap show! <laughs> This is Cash Tastic, and that's a wrap. That was Lauren doing a little hula hoop thing. Lauren, you should be bigger. Not in size, like weight, like you should be, you know, fat. You just should be bigger in what you do. All right, the side for this week, we have four amazing individuals. We have Rio, we have Big Zek, we have Bilza, and we have the the very simple, straight to the point, rhymes. Ah, melons. Um. <laughs> Check. We got it in. Check me out, yo. Ah. These days, I see so many fakes Finally got my song on iTunes and they think I'm getting paid Like Rio, let's go out to eat, let me know what day And when we reach the till, they just expect me to pay I like to break bread so I don't mind sharing dough Cause money comes in quick and then the faster it will go Just don't think I'm some ATM out around the road We're all trying to make it climbing up the same pole Ah, yeah, and I wouldn't mind a meal So I bought Jamie's cookbook to show me how to grill Pushing myself daily, this pain it won't kill So I'm hustling with music cause I wouldn't mind the deal No homo, my money stands straight can't crease, push you through every door even if I lose my keys Yes I drive a car, and I'm not a fan of vans That's why I started wearing night kicks on my feet Yo, you should already know the name Cause I batter tracks, if Bills is on a cypher That's a wrap, my CD deserves a platinum plaque Fiends need that, like rehab and Amy going back to black Fuck your whole life if we're going back to back Sorry, but we don't compare and that's a fact I'll take it flow, make it better Then you can have it back and you don't get a say in the matter This ain't a battle rap it's a statement, I started with shouts to praise and he put faith in the kid because he knows that he's amazing and it's blatant Bro kick a rapper like I was Seamus, put him on the news, make him famous Laters, my new shit's amazing, I need to quit the blazing, stick to rhythm making Cause I'm sicker than a missing patient to escape midway through a hip replacement Hop the balcony and hit the pavement, done Look, it's the Kush Rebel Getting high with bad bitches and my crew are hood rebels Feelings get hurt when this crooked crazy spitter spits A thousand lakhs of gifts Couldn't make me give a flying shit brother And I got vomit on my dick cause I'm a sick fucker Fucking your great grandmother with a rip rubber Right now, look I'm a gold build some bombs in your baby mother's shed That motherfucker is full of my guns, cocks and ammo I even got that little cupid punk's bow and arrow And I've been using them to get these dumb hoes I'm rago, smoke L skins and skunk till I'm over paro <laughs> Drink till I'm drunk and then play the arse wipe Getting fucked up more than troublemakers that can't fight Flipping the sick in the script, sticking my dick in your chicken's lips The pick of the litter, that's sipping the liquor The reason I spit it, that's sicker than this 
Big Zeke in the house, I'm kinda pissed off I'm going in, give me space, blast off Me and your girl, we did a Dougie, then she jerked off She said she likes black cock, I guess my dick's golf Shit, man I'm rapping for the whole team Keep my name out your mouth, no word clean Where these girls chat shit about me They're girls on the period, overreacting Nice camera action, I'm so into fashion I am gonna blow, chemical reaction Any girl you see me with, you know that I am smashing I made her do the retro, set of satisfaction Yeah, what's up, what's up, I be here yeah, bringing it up You be there making it rain, I be here stacking it up Don't think you got enough bars to batter me bruh Claim me that you're famous for your wife, you suck my cup Z That's the rap show! That's the rap show! <laughs> if you go to the Facebook group, you will have the four individuals in which I've just been participating in the cipher. You then vote for who you like and it will be available to vote as soon as the shout has finished. Whoever you think is great, get on and vote for them because without your votes, it doesn't matter. Why do you have to vote? Because if you don't vote, how are you gonna know who wins? You may have the ability to win, but you're actually not involved in the cipher. But if you vote, you can give someone else a chance to win. And chance is something on a Monopoly board. A Monopoly is a fantastic game that's been around for years. So buy Monopoly for Christmas. We're gonna go some shout outs. Like Quazon didn't wanna do shout outs, but do you know what? There are some people that I like to shout out. I like to shout out the world, you know? I think it's fantastic. Shout out Global Sports, shout out Fidel and Play Doh. Uh, who's the people that blog us and help? Obviously, shout out SBTV, shout out my mom, my dad, um, the reason I'm actually here. Shout out Quazon's parents as well, they're the reason he's here. Demi, she gave me this fantastic chain that I still wear every single day. Shout out whoever made this mug, because you're a mug and I've been drinking it. So I'm a mug, and together we'll all jump in the kitchen sink. All that's left to say, I'm a poet. That's Quazon. Come back next week, man. And uh, hopefully uh, I won't be wearing this dodgy hat. <laughs>